relationship with God. There's healing in a relationship with God. Nothing like it. There is nothing like it. Glory to your name, Father God. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Let your presence be evident in this life. Let your peace that passes all understanding in this life. serve you, Lord. I'll love you, Lord. I'll do your will, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. This is why people don't want to say his name. and People going around, going back centuries, trying to find something wrong with the name of Jesus because it's power in the name of Jesus. If you can't accept Jesus, you can't accept God. That's biblical. That's biblical. That's like you coming to my house, you don't receive, and, and I'm dating you, and you don't receive my children, but you, you all for me, but you won't receive my children. That's the same thing. We got a lot of people that um, don't want to acknowledge Jesus, and they want to find out there was no letter J back then and there's this and this because it's power in the name of Jesus look at their life examine their life do they have testimonies do they have proof do they have anything stating or or saying that they experienced God they experienced them they never experienced them. these people that will talk about Jesus and talk about how his name is evil. I'm seeing, you know, I, I've never seen any of this before until now. Isn't it strange how all of a sudden people are digging and going back? These are people that ain't even a, in church. They don't believe in God. They don't even read their Bible. But it's amazing how these are the people that more most definitely dig to find a lie, to find something wrong, to say that Jesus is not real, he's demonic. They said that in the, in the scripture. When Jesus was going around healing and he healed on the Sabbath day. You see, he healed on a Sunday. And they got so mad. Like, you telling me a person wants to be healed and, I, and, and they can't get healed? On a, because it's Sunday, is it because, you know, there's power in the name of Jesus. That's why people are against it. In 2024, they're going to come against Christians because that name is so powerful. People will dig and find information just to show you that you're wrong. But what if we're right? And you spent all this time trying to prove that, that, that this Jesus is not real. See, it doesn't matter if you believe or not. You know that? It doesn't matter if you believe the word or not or believe that Jesus is real. It doesn't matter. Because the truth is the truth and it doesn't need our help. But why are they coming against Jesus? It's power in the name Jesus. That's why they don't want to speak it. You got to pay attention to the truth. You got to open your spiritual eyes. If you're walking in the flesh, you're not going to understand spiritual things. That's why this morning I come to one of my videos and I'm saying, this don't make sense. This is stupid. You haven't proved anything. 
you won't understand nothing I'm saying anyway, even if I break it down to you, even if I show you in scripture because you're walking in the flesh. You got to learn how to walk in the spirit to understand spiritual things. When I was in the world, I didn't understand this either until I came to Christ. Till I start reading my word and I start asking God for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding before I read the word. See, there's power. People deny the power. They, they want to be so comfortable in their flesh. They want to be so comfortable in their sin. They reject it because they like their life. They like what they're doing. They believe that what they're doing is right until you find out the truth. When you find out the truth, the truth is what makes you free. Not a lie. A lie is deception. A lie will keep you blind. A lie deceives you and it'll mess up your world. And Just think about when you've been lied to. And you find out the truth about something. You, oh my God. You've been lying to me all these years. You've been cheating on me all these years. And you find out the truth is like. And then you sit down and you think about all your whole life. Like, oh my God, my whole life was a lie. I can't, I can't believe I just found out the truth. The truth makes you free. And even though it hurts and it's painful, you know, you would rather want the truth than a lie. A lie will mess you up. A lie, that's, that's the plan, to deceive you. But when you find out the truth, the truth makes you free. It makes you, and then you're searching for it. You're hungering, you're thirsting for it. You want to know what it is. So, you know, you have to include the power of God. You cannot. When you're walking in the flesh, try not to speak against things. Because you really don't understand. You've been walking in the flesh. And this is your first time hearing things. Why would you knock down something you've never heard of before? And you know you're not living like that. You got to get curious. You got to find out the truth. You got to want to know the truth. You got to learn to listen. God wants you hot or cold. So when I was in the world doing what I wanted to do, I didn't want to hear about God. I didn't want to talk about God. I, I loved what I did. But when I came to Christ, when I came to God, when I came to acknowledge the truth, I don't want to indulge in that no more. See, you can't be in between. Some people are in between. When you want God, when things are going wrong, you run over here. And when you want what you want, you run over there to the flesh. You got to make a choice. You got to decide today who you're going to serve. Either you all, God would rather you be all the way in sin rather than in between. He'll spit you out of his mouth. So it's best to make a choice. You got to make a choice. You can't do both. It's really dangerous doing both. One day you want to be in truth. One day you want to be in flesh. That's a double-minded man receives nothing from the Lord. This is why your prayers are being hindered. This is why nothing's moving in your life. Because you're double-minded. One minute you, you're serving God. One minute you're mad because nothing's going right. You got to be content in good or bad. If your life is going good, you still got to learn to be happy. When your life is not, when things are going not according to plan, you got to still keep going. Regardless. Regardless, having a good day, still keep going. Having a bad day, think on good things. Remember yesterday was good. Oh my God, yesterday was so good. I'm going to dwell on that. That can change. We have power and authority.